Hi, I'm Mark Nyholm from Amsoil. Did you know that the number one leading cause of fuel economy loss is from air pressure in your tires? There's a lot of vehicles running down the road today that have underinflated tires. That underinflated tire causes more rolling restriction, which causes you to burn more fuel to get that vehicle down the road. We're gonna talk about today where to find the appropriate tire pressure recommended by your OEM and how to check your tires to make sure they're properly inflated. Most vehicles on the road today have a placard that's stalled just inside the door jam of your driver's side. The OEM puts it there so that you, it's easy access for checking your tire pressure. So why don't we go ahead and open the door and see what this truck rates tires at. All right, the placard for uh, on this vehicle can be found right here on the B pillar. It says front tire pressure, 60 PSI, rear tire pressure, 70 PSI. So when we go around and check the tires, we wanna make sure that it complies with those two values. Now that we know what the OEM recommended tire pressure is, we can take our tire pressure gauge, which we acquired at our local auto parts store, and check the pressure of our tires. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the cap from the valve stem. We'll take our tire pressure gauge, measure the air pressure, and the gauge tells me it's at 55 PSI. Now, the placard from the inside of the door from the OEM tells us that 60 PSI is optimum air pressure for this front tire. So we're gonna to have to put some air in it. Now that we've measured the air pressure in this tire and we know that it's about five PSI low, we're gonna to have to use the, an air chuck like this that you might find at your local gas station to put air in this tire. So you're gonna to wanna to take this end and put it on the valve stem. Hit the button and air is now going into the tire. So we're gonna to wanna to do this for maybe 15, 20 seconds. Stop. And then we're gonna to wanna to check it again with our tire gauge. Now the tire pressure gauge is telling me I have 60 PSI, which matches the placard on the door as a recommendation from the OEM. One last important thing for you, when you're checking your tires, make sure that the tires are cold. As the air inside the tires heats up from you driving down the road, the pressure actually goes up. So if you check your tires right after you get off the freeway, it's gonna give you a false reading of what's on the gauge. So ensure you check your tires when they're cold.